Hello and welcome. So today we're talking about a really important topic that doesn't get enough credit in my opinion. And it's this idea of electrons. And we're also gonna get into the idea of grounding, which is a way that we can work with this. Now, why the heck are we talking about electrons? It's like a nightmare from chemistry way back in high school. Well, really quick, simple overview. Essentially, all atoms that make up everything in the entire universe have a neutron and a proton at its core. Those don't change, they kind of stay together. And then all the way around that, they have this electron cloud. So these negatively charged particles flying all around. And that's what really interacts with each other. So anytime there's a chemical reaction, anytime there's energy transfer, we're talking about electrons. And human beings are absolutely no different. So we don't think about it a whole lot, but human beings are extremely electrical in nature. So I think most of us would agree if you stuck your finger in a toaster while it's plugged in, probably not the best idea. Why? Because our bodies are really, really good conductors of electricity because this is how our body operates. When we're sending any nerve signal, anything that happens in our brain, that's happening over biological electrical circuits. The cells themselves, it's really important that they hold a certain charge outside versus inside of the cell because it drives everything that we do. So again, we're very electrical beings by nature. Now, whenever we were taught about electrons, you know, even like 10, 15 years ago, really most of the conversation was about food. Like you eat food, there's energy and there's electrons in there. And then that's kind of the end of the story in terms of electrons. What we're finding is it's way more in depth and there's way more stuff that we can do to support this entire very important system than we ever thought possible. And it's way more simple than any of us thought possible too because the earth itself is actually our biggest pool of electrons that we get as human beings. It's estimated that only about a third of the electrons that our body needs to operate is coming in from our food, which is like, where the heck is that other two thirds coming from? The earth itself. And it's such an important idea because you know, even 100, 200 years ago, like this wasn't even a conversation because like we had to be in contact with the earth. Like we didn't have artificial lights. We didn't have all this modern day heating and cooling kind of thing. So this idea in the lives that we live are actually very new in terms of the human experience. And uh, oftentimes it's at our detriment. Like we always think about the convenience and comfort side of things, um, which is awesome. The flip side of that though is we're way more out of touch with the earth than we ever have been. And this isn't just like a sustainability thing, like literally that contact with the earth is super important for our bodies. And there's two reasons for that. The first is the earth itself, um, it has like 11 different rotating cores and centers and different pieces of metal kind of thing that all exist within the earth. So what it does, it create, the earth itself creates a ton of magnetism and it's an enormous pool of electrons. So actually electrons getting into our body, a lot of that is supposed to be coming from the earth itself. And literally when your body touches the ground, so this is grass, this is rocks that are in contact with the earth, sand, dirt, like the natural processes that are connected to the earth are gonna be electrically connected to that flow of electrons. So getting electrons into the body is step number one and we have to have contact with the earth to do that. The problem is we're always wearing rubber soled shoes. Most of us aren't outside there very much anyway. So most synthetic materials are gonna be excellent insulators, which means there's no exchange of electrons whatsoever. So even though like, um, you know, we might be going for walks and we might be actually outside, a lot of times there's no electric connectivity with the earth whatsoever because we've like insulated ourselves away from it. Like even a lot of our clothes are made of like plastics and different things that have no electrical um, potential to exchange those electrons with the earth. So we're not outside and we're, when we are outside, we really don't have that electrical connection that we need. So we're not getting this constant flow of battery recharging electrons that we really need to operate our bodies in a healthy, consistent way. And I know I felt like this for years. It's like, I feel like I'm doing like so many great things like exercise, diet, like, like why do I still feel so tired? And it's almost become um, so common that it's becoming really normalized. Like, you know, you see t-shirts all the time, like don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. Like a lot of people really have a difficult time going in the mornings. Um, and I think this is a big, big piece that's missing for people is we don't have that energy currency of life as the electrons actually come into our bodies on that constant flow like we used to. So that's step number one. Like we just need enough electrons to operate everything. The earth and touching the earth and having that electric uh, conductivity of electrons into our body is a huge source of that. And guess what? If you're not getting enough, then your body wants more from food so a lot of people are also like, man, I'm feeling like I'm always hungry. Like I eat and eat, I still feel like I'm hungry. Like your body is, um, sometimes that's a cry for help. Like my body needs more energy, but you don't only have to get that from food, even though that's what we've been taught. The second piece to this is 
uh, discharge of electricity. So um, if you look at any outlet in your house or like in any building, that bottom prong is called a grounding outlet. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking your electronics and what that does is it puts everything into the earth and the ground. And the reason because is the earth is like this massive sponge that can absorb um, any electricity that's not benefiting us. So in the case of like electrical appliances, they wanna make sure there's not all this static electricity that's causing a fire. But the idea also applies to us as human beings because we're, again, electrical beings, we're running all these different systems. Our cells are constantly having these changeover of different molecules and electric charges. So being able to discharge and redistribute our electricity is actually, again, super important as human beings. And again, we didn't even used to have to think about this. It just automatically happened because we were already touching the earth. But essentially we get this like awesome reset and your body can really balance itself out like it needs to electrically when we have that contact with the ground. So as simple as it sounds, as like, you're like, when I heard this, I'm like, oh my gosh, could it like actually be this easy? And the answer is yes, but again, it's like such a, uh, I was amazed how little I was contacting the ground like on a consistent basis. Again, like you go outside, you wear shoes, like you, we just don't like touch the ground that much anymore. And it's such a cool place to start because it is so, so important. Again, the electrons are the currency of our bodies and of life. So if you're having issues with these two things, like if you're not getting enough electrons, and your body isn't able to balance out the electric charge like it needs to, there's a laundry list of things that come up. So again, when we're talking about migraine headaches, the, the general consensus is like, uh, you know, we don't know exactly where migraines come from. Um, I really wanna encourage and support this idea. I'm guessing it's not one thing, it's almost always a combination of things. And again, sometimes we've missed some really foundational pieces. And again, as healthcare practitioners, um, this is, there's all this new information coming out that we weren't even taught like going through school and all this kind of stuff. So when we get this new information, we can apply it better. But if we're not getting the electrons we need and if we can't rebalance out the electrons, I mean, low energy, headaches is one thing that can come up with this, unproductive sleep, um, slow recovery from either like working out or like injury. I hear this a lot uh, too and it all kind of goes together because if you're not generating the energy that your body needs, if your mitochondria are slammed and you can't like do these basic processes that your body wants to. You're not gonna heal well, you're not gonna feel well. And again, if this goes on for years, it can really snowball and it often manifests itself with things like chronic conditions like migraines. Uh, another big thing here is your red blood cells operate over electric charge as well. So if they don't have enough negative charge, they can't hold oxygen very well. And when we're talking about migraines, making sure you're getting proper oxygen to the tissues is one of the very top things to consider. So again, take all this to say electric uh, processes in the body is how our body operates. We need to make sure that we have that contact with the ground so we can get the electrons that we need and we can rebalance the charge out. In our next video, we're going to be talking about some solutions and easy ways that we can start to implement those changes into our life, get more contact with the ground and get moving on this.